This is John for John Speedo at the ballpark with ace photographer Dina Quint. How are you? <laughs> Good, how are you? Why are you laughing at that? <laughs> I don't know, ace photographer. Well, I've been with the bandits for 10 years. Well, that's an ace photographer. <laughs> yeah, I call myself ace reporter, so let that go. Now, I'm, I'm talking to you today, well, I always love talking to you, but I'm talking to you today especially because you've got a book coming out. Right. Can you tell us a little bit about the book, or tell sure. us a lot about the book? Yeah, okay, so um, so having been with the league for 10 years, I um, accumulated a lot of photos, probably about four terabytes full of pictures, and um, since the Bandits are celebrating actually their anniversary um, this year, and the NPF is celebrating their anniversary this year, I thought it would be kind of neat to... Uh, put a book together of my favorite photos and then include some interviews with players and coaches and um, a broadcaster and stuff and um, kind of give people an inside look of what the history of the NPF was like and to, for them to learn and understand how far the league has come. I mean a lot of people take how we play right now for granted but they don't realize we were actually, some of our players were in locker rooms that were trailer homes and um, they were playing in high school fields and um, or ballparks that were made meant for baseball players and they brought fences in and and so really I wanted to see like how much we're growing and continue to grow you know and uh, and also to understand who the greatest players were you know I mean there's a lot of great players now but there are people who paved the path for these ball players and I think it's important to understand the history of you know where we all started well, I've learned a lot just by following the, the Hunter Game Project, <laughs> I, you know, because I've only been around this for about five years, but I've learned a lot about the, the previous stuff. So what would you say some of your highlights were? Like, uh, obviously the championships, but beyond that. Yeah, I think the um, probably the highlight that I have every day when I come out is being able to stand on the field where the greatest athletes play. I mean, to really appreciate their athleticism and to see them grow from rookies because I've been around 10 years, so I'm one of the old people in the league, but to um, actually see how they've grown and have customized their their skills to stay in the league and, and be really, um, really productive and excel at their sports, and also to watch, like, um, the fans' reactions and stuff, you know, when they stand there and ask a player for an autograph, and, um, you know, they're just they're starry-eyed, and it's so cool to see that, you know, because you want that kid to grow up and say, I want to be like right. Megan Wiggins, or I want to be like um, Kaylani Ricketts, or Sammy Marshall, or whatever, you know, whoever it is. But to me, that's that's really cool. But obviously the championships are, are awesome. But I think the hard-fought battles always, the close games I enjoy more than a no-hitter. <laughs> Okay. Or a perfect game. Sure. I'm not a real, I mean, I enjoy photographing a perfect game, but it's really boring to photograph. Sure. Um, not many hits. Yeah, <laughs> not many hits for a perfect game. No hitters can be all right because you might get some great plays, but um, you know the players they're they're awesome. So they've made great plays in the outfield, great plays at the plate. Um, they've had clutch hits. Um, I think just being up close, like and just knowing, like when I walk out there, I mean, Sierra Romero's out there, and it's like, man, this. This is an athlete. This is Kelly Crutchman. Yeah, Kelly Crutchman has been in the league, you know, longer than me than I've been around. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think that's that's probably the best thing. And then I forgot how much the league had changed and grown. And by doing this project and going back, I just got all these great feelings of, oh my gosh, this is when Patton did this, and this is Tammy Williams, sure. you know, up in the air throw, and you know, and uh, the play at home plate that uh, the Bandits beat the Pride to go on to the championship, and all those kind of things that you forget about, and then the fun stuff, you know, that went on, like players in the dugout with ice bags on oh, their the head, and <laughs> yeah, the peacock, yeah. and um, stuff like that, I think is, uh, it's fun, and that's what the book is going to show. It's going to show some plays, but it's also going to show some behind-the-scenes stuff that people don't get to see. And then um, it's all done through Kickstarter. So I have a campaign going, so I have to raise $5,000 by August 4th um, in order to have the book printed. And so if people want to, they can support it by going to kickstarter.com, and then they can just do a search for Through My Lens, which is the name of the book. Um, and uh, they can support it. And there's different rewards for all levels. And if they go to the highest level, they actually get a CD, which has video clips from years past that people haven't seen, which are pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so, or they could just probably uh, do a hashtag 100 Day Project to get to your profile? Yes, they should be able to do that. Or they can follow me on Instagram, and it's in there at, at Dina Quit, D I N A K W I T. Now, you're certainly going to reach the goal. We, we all know that. You've got, you got the NPS support, you got the player support, 
everything's coming together. When do you think the book would actually be printed? It's going to be ready for Christmas. So it's a great Christmas, Christmas gift. gift this year, Perfect. right? Yeah, people, fans, um, parents of little kids who play. Um, it's going to have people from the whole 10 years. So it's not just going to be the oldies. It's going to be the newbies as well. And uh, and so yeah, they'll have a chance to, to be part of it and get you know get in on it for Christmas. So people need to go to the Kickstart to Kickstart page. Look for Dean and Quit. Look for the through the, the lens through the lens on Kickstarter. You'll find it. Pledge something. Pledge anything. Get this book done. I, I think it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. <laughs> I but hope let's, so. let's let's get it out of the way quickly so that right. we can all relax. Right. And yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Dina, thank you very much. Good thank luck. Thank you. And uh, we'll keep you know we'll keep you safe. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank That's you very much. Thanks.